All right, I'm back. Uh, so we'll see what's going on here. Uh, I guess I came through there. Shy guy, I guess. Or a bunch of enemies. Uh, you know, I had uh, this. Let me see if it uh, does anything. Oh, okay, it just straight up kills him. Uh, having some more of those would have been good, I guess. This guy's got uh, pretty good defense. Uh, so anyways, uh, continuing with the games I played or beat this year. Uh, the next one was uh, Yoda Yodanji on the uh, Switch. Uh, it's a roguelike. Okay, I'm gonna have to take notes here. Alright. Anyways, yeah, it's a roguelike on the uh, Switch. Uh, yeah, it's a more of like a strict uh, roguelike. Like, you start uh, completely from scratch every time you die. Uh, it's not like Rogue Legacy or anything like that. Uh, although there is uh, different characters you can unlock uh, when you beat it or do certain things. Uh, yeah, all the characters are different, like, uh, Yokai, uh, which is pretty cool, I like that. Uh, although I found it is very difficult, I was only able to, like, unlock, I think, one or two other characters. Uh, let's see, I guess I should heal everyone. Yeah, I, you know, I really do like, uh, Yokai stuff. Uh, so that's why I ended up buying it, but uh, I just found the game too difficult, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit more like RPG-ish, like you, it's not, uh, well yeah, I guess roguelikes typically are, but yeah, it's not like an action game, it's, you know, turn-based, kind of you move along one step at a time, and so do all the enemies. But yeah, it was, I think it was only like five bucks or something, so, you know, uh, wow, that hit pretty hard. Uh, yeah, I don't like regret buying it, it was fun to play for a bit, uh, I do wish it was a bit easier. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was fun anyways. Uh, next was uh, Pirate 7. Uh, I did a video on this, uh, it's basically, it's similar to... I don't know, the Mercenary Saga games, it's a simplistic, uh, tactical RPG. Uh, it was, again, it was cheap, uh, kind of fun, uh, I guess I should heal Peach. Probably, uh,
Uh, so the next one was uh, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Uh, yeah, I think I got this uh, last Christmas as well, uh, along with the uh, uh, what was it? Our new Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, this I liked quite a bit more. Uh, it was really good. Uh, it really is similar to like Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Uh, I haven't played the first ukulele, uh, even though I think I did back it, uh, but, uh, or, yeah, I don't remember if I backed it or not, uh, I guess, yeah, yeah, I backed Hat in Time, but, uh, I'm not sure if I backed uh, ukulele, I haven't played it either way, uh, but yeah, the, uh, possible layer was really good, uh, Pretty good difficulty for most of it. Uh, you know, a bit more difficulty if you wanted to get all the uh, special coins and everything. Uh, and running around on the map was fun. Uh, yeah, it was just overall really good. Uh, after that, I beat uh, McBat, uh, which I did that playthrough of. Uh, yeah, it was it was short, cheap. Uh, not like super amazing, but you know, decent enough for what it was. Uh, you know, definitely recommend it if you like uh, Banjo Kazooie or any of those kind of games. What's going on here? Next, uh, I played a bit of, uh, well I started Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. Uh, I ended up playing a little bit more of it this year and then just deciding I'm not going to really bother with it anymore. Uh, I liked the, you know, the story and the characters and everything. Uh, I just can't stand the combat. Uh, I think I mentioned it when I was playing Pokemon, but it's just so, I don't know, it's right at the perfect uh, kind of spot for me not to like it. It's that kind of half uh, live, uh, live action combat, half turn based combat, where it means like you're not really testing like your reflexes or skills or anything, because it's still heavily like turn based, RPG based, where, you know, it's stats matter a lot. and. Uh, lots of attacks around like cooldown timers and stuff uh, but it's also you can't just sit and think about what you're gonna do and uh, you know ha only half pay attention and you know spam fight to grind and stuff like that so it's like you've got to pay attention but it's not really fun so it's uh, oh, I didn't want to do that I should just hit B there all the time Oh well, it's just coins. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. The thing that I thought of is, like, they, uh, they call the characters in that drivers, because they use their, uh, you know, that's what they call them when they're using, like, their abilities with the different, uh, I don't know, whatever the spirits or whatever you equipped were. And I find, like, that is the perfect, uh, description of what it's like. It's playing the game, it's like driving, which... You know, it's mostly boring and sitting there and just staring at the road and not really doing anything. But you've got to do that, you can't just like not pay attention. And that's that's exactly what the combat is like in that. It's, you know, you you can't just half pay attention or whatever. You've got, you've got to be, uh, you know, doing stuff. Uh, you,
Okay. Should uh, write down who that is, I guess. Uh, my Julian. Okay. Yeah. So I, uh, I really just didn't like the uh, the combat. Koopa follows me, uh, more or less. I've got to get him to uh, uh, hit the ball uh, this way. in the word uh, yeah so I yeah I like the you know the world and the characters and the story and you know everything I just the combat was uh, I just horrible for me anyways I can't, I can't tell what's going on. Like there must be stairs here or something. That's the only entrance.
So we go up here. Just keep going on. I'll do that one. I don't know at the end. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Makes sense for this to work. Okay, did hurt them, I guess. I would have thought they'd be immune to it. These are all kind of like ghost types. He's gonna revive in a second. They don't uh, seem to hit very hard. Oh, except right there. Uh, I guess I should revive her. Yeah, so after that, uh, God Wars. Uh, I actually started this again uh, I don't know, a year or two ago. Uh, I kind of played it on MOP. It's a tactical RPG. Again, with uh, there's no generic characters uh, in it. Uh, it's set in like old Japan, like uh, you know, not even like samurai or anything. I think it's you know thousands of years ago or whatever. Uh, you know, the very the characters you meet are various like gods and stuff like that. Uh, I got I played it for probably 20 or 30 hours. Uh, it was. Like, it was pretty good. Uh, I found it to be, I think, kind of long, and it kind of stretches out. Uh, 
part of the difficulty was uh, I was playing it in Japanese, uh, and you know, to keep with the theme of like you know old Japan or whatever, uh, you know, some of the characters they did speak kind of old timey, which wasn't as much of a problem, but. Uh, a lot of the all the attacks basically were uh, they weren't like you know in a lot of our JRPGs even if they're Japanese they'll be like you know fireball or uh, you know something kind of you know somewhat easy to read uh, you know or it'll be just like the Japanese translation of like fire blast or lightning or whatever uh, uh, but this had I don't know, it was using like all sorts of obscure, like, uh, I don't know, lots of words I didn't know uh, for the attacks. So does this guy, like, I keep hitting him, but he doesn't die. Do they just have like a ton of HP, or is it like random or something? Uh, anyways, yeah, I found the attacks just super difficult to kind of remember which one was what. And every character gets like so many attacks because uh, they each have different uh, classes, and each class has like its own skill tree, and uh, and there was no way to like sort them or like uh, favorite certain attacks or anything. Uh, so when you went to do your spell or whatever, you just had this huge list of like you know dozens and dozens of attacks. Okay, why is he not dying? Uh, and so yeah, that just got... Uh, I just found it... Okay, I... I, I guess it needs... Does it need like a special attack to kill him? Or do they just have like a huge amount of HP and that happened to kill him? Mallow could use some HP. Uh... Oh, shop. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so you just had this huge, huge list of uh, abilities and stuff, and uh, I just found it such a bother to just find what I wanted to use, because you had like all sorts of like. Uh, you know, th this attack does like a bit more damage, and this one's got a bit more accuracy, and this one hits, you know, two guys, and this one has a range, and this one has range and does extra damage, and, uh, you know, it was just, I don't know, I think it was just too much, and with no ability to, uh, like, uh, you know, sort them or even favorite certain ones. So yeah, that, that kind of made the battles kind of drag on. Uh, and I found a lot of the normal physical attacks didn't really do much. It was so much faster to use like uh, specific uh, kind of special attacks. Uh, and there were certain ones that were just super overpowered. Like uh, one of the classes has an ability that uh, randomly inflicts uh, three status ailments on an enemy. Uh, and that can include like petrify and stuff, uh, and so many of the status ailments, you know, they basically take the character out of the battle. Uh, so it was worth it just to, you know, it was, well, I think it was too worth it just to have like a whole bunch of characters with that uh, class ability and uh, just, you know, spam status effects on everyone. Uh, so yeah, there was a couple of kind of things like that that I just didn't care about. Uh, and I sort of, you know, because it's such a long game and it was kind of a bit difficult to play through it. Uh, you know, other games kept coming out and I'd get kind of distracted from it. And then eventually I was just, okay, I, you know, I don't feel like playing this anymore. But, uh, 
it, it was a good game. Uh, I, I don't know, I probably should have just switched to English or something and played it through like that. Looks like if I've got at least two people who need uh, healing, it's always worth it just to uh, use a uh, group one. Okay, I'm gonna have to get all the coins, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, I think another problem I had with it, there is, there's a ton of, like, side mission kind of, you know, uh, free mission, whatever, where you can go through and just do these, like, uh, little side battles over and over, and, uh, there's, like, a ton of them, like, you know, every time you do one main mission, you get, like, six side missions added, and I tend to get distracted by that, and, uh, I think that's partially what, it, what ended up making me, uh, take so long to get through it. Probably should have just ignored them or something. Uh, after that, I played Tales of Vesperia, uh, Definitive Edition on there, uh, and I just didn't like it. I don't know. Uh, I've played other Tales games, uh, Symphonia and uh, Fantasia, which I've never beat, but I like it. I've played half of it a couple times anyways. Uh, so it's not like it's just the Tales games I don't like, but I don't know, something about Vesperia. I, I just didn't like the combat and I don't know. I just kind of got sick of it pretty quick. Consonants are side by side. Thank you. 
R before L. R before the L, there's an S in the word. Uh, it's the bed of the ocean. What, like the seabed? Alright, so one is uh, M, C, O, T, or P. Uh, two is O. E, E, S, or Y, 3, uh, A, R, E, T, S, 4, A, T, R, S, or C, 5, T, E, R, L, O, Six is S T E K or R. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's there's four that have S's in them. I thought that was be that would be a good uh, start, anyways. Uh, Okay, there's one, there's only one L, so uh, five has to be an L. Uh, the R comes before the L, so. I guess pearls are, I don't know, they're not really, I don't know, the bed of the ocean thing that doesn't really, uh, anyways, oh, I messed up, uh, there. You need if there was a uh, some other like secret password you could put in here like you know Mario or whatever and get a I don't know some other secret thing.
Head's gonna pop it, I guess. There would be, uh. Okay. Move on, fight more. Mario go. Okay, I guess that's its attack, it just takes Mario. Now it's gonna be its head. We've killed six tentacles, so it should be its head now. Terrorize. It's too. I, I don't know. I don't get what it's doing. Like, uh, why it sometimes like does a whole bunch of damage and other times misses. And... I think I much prefer uh, Paper Mario's uh, kind of combat uh, I don't know, damage formula or whatever, where it's just you know one defense reduces damage by one, and one attack reduces it by or increases it by one, and so on, uh, where you can really kind of make sense of what's going on. Uh, everything just seems so I don't know, random and. I just can never get what's gonna happen. Like, you know, characters do five damage and then they do a hundred and I think with Paper Mario system it really makes like single increases much more meaningful. I should uh use a syrup or something, but I think he's probably going to be dead in a attack or two. Uh, he looks like Bender. Uh, 
after I don't know, Tales of the Spirit, it was uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, of course, I got that. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the permadeath in Fire Emblem. I find it really over. You know, it's like I said earlier. It just affects everything way too much. You end up. Uh, you know, characters with high defense are just so much better to have around because you know they're not going to die. Uh, characters like Pegasus Knights, unless you're specifically trying to use them or whatever, they're just not worth it because they die so easy. Uh, you know, so the, the permadeath just kind of messes everything up. You have to just go forward one step at a time. You, know, you put out some strong character unarmed and let enemies swarm them and then... Uh, you know, they do zero damage, and then your other, like, archers and stuff can pick them off to get experience, but it... I don't know, it... Yeah, it just it messes everything up, I think. Uh, and there's too many times when, like, enemies just pop out of nowhere and kill one of your characters, like, 20 turns into a battle or something. Uh, but on the other hand, if you turn the permadeath off, then the game just becomes super easy and it feels like, you know, there's not really any point. Uh, so that's kind of the problem I have with Fire Emblem. And I've played a couple of the recent Fire Emblem games, or, you know, and a, a bunch of them before that. Like, I, I started on the Game Boy Advance, I played those ones, and uh, I played the GameCube one, and uh, I got one of the 3DS ones. Uh, and that's just every time I'm like, okay, why... See, why did she do so much damage there? Like. Anyways, yeah, it's just, uh, that's the one part that I just don't like. Okay, so you've just gotta, like, hit them with a special attack to kill them or something? I guess? Yeah, so I, every time I end up getting the new Fire Emblem game and then kinda being like, why did I get this? Uh... Plus, it's, uh, you know, I do, I tend to get sidetracked by side stuff, and this Fire Emblem game is just way too much side stuff, so, uh, you know, I was, you know, grinding side missions and stuff for way too long, and, and ended up, uh, spending a whole bunch of time on it and then getting sick of it. Uh, so I only got, like, probably halfway through it. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I didn't really care for it too much. idea when you're supposed to hit the button on that, if, if it even has a spot. Uh, after that was uh, Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark. Uh, it had kind of the same problem, uh, I think, where uh, I just, well, it doesn't have permadeath, but I just ended up spending way too much time doing, like, side stuff, and uh, ended up kind of just getting sick of it. 
unfortunately. Uh, also, while it did have uh, generic characters, which I like, I thought they were... It's, I don't know, it's too open with what you can do with them. Uh, uh, yeah, I got lots of flowers. Uh, and so you end up... Uh, I don't know, none of the characters really feel different, because like any character can quickly become any class, and they don't seem to really you know, get kind of hemmed in by their stats or anything. Uh, so it ends up, uh... I don't know, I think I'm missing something here, but, uh, anyways... Yeah, it ends up, I don't know, all the characters just feel like kind of generic blobs. Like, uh... I don't know, none of them, you know, they're all just kind of the same after a little while. Uh, and all the side mission stuff just caused me to get distracted. Uh, Uh, so I ended up, I uh, played it for a while, then got kind of sick of it. Uh, that only affects one. Uh, plus the art style, I didn't like it all. It was very, I don't know, Tumblr. Uh, and there's there's also I think too many classes for my liking. Like you, you start off with just a few, and you're like, okay, I'll get a few more classes, and this will be cool. And you just keep unlocking more and more. And there's like subclass kind of things of uh, you know other classes, but slightly different. And they've all got piles and piles of abilities. And I don't know. I would have preferred kind of I don't know toning that down a bit. So after that, I played a little bit of Super Mario 35. Uh, my internet connection is kind of bad, so it would end up disconnecting after a couple games, so I didn't ever end up getting really into it. Because it was really annoying to be, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, one of two people left alive and, uh, you know, 10 minutes or 20 minutes into a match and then uh, the internet disconnects and you lose. I would play that if I had better internet, but uh, I'm guessing it, you know, by the time that happens, the game won't be available, which sucks, so... Oh well.
Uh, and then I played uh, Kirby Fighters 2, uh, which that was cool. And it was nice that it just kind of like appeared out of nowhere and stuff. Uh, uh, it's basically just Smash Bros with all Kirby's. Yeah, it was like 20 bucks or something. I played through that. I played the. Uh, I didn't end up playing online, of course, but. Uh, Single player was fun, and it seems like it would be fun to play multiplayer, you know, if you had good online or, uh, you know, someone to play with or whatever. You could see it being fun for, like, you know, little kids, a whole bunch of people get together and play it. Gato Roboto a bit. Uh, I didn't end up liking it. Uh, it's kind of like a linear Metroidvania, like you're really constricted in where you can go. Uh, and I would rather just, you know, just be kind of more open, like go wherever you want and figure it out and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's very, like, you know, you, you gotta really do it in order, which I don't really care for. Uh, and the the art style was cool, but I think it was, it doesn't help in a Metroidvania, because it ends up, uh, well, the whole, everything's black and white, like, purely, like, pure black or pure white, like, monochrome, uh, you know, whatever, uh, and that ended up making all the areas kind of look the same, which really kind of killed the whole exploration feeling. Yeah, after, I don't know, I only played it like two or three hours maybe, and then I just, I don't know, quit, figured I'd play something else. Uh, after that was a uh, picnic on the, uh, well, Switch again. Uh, yeah, again, kind of same thing. I felt kind of the same as I did with God of Roboto or Human Fall Flat, where it's just, I didn't really care for like the game structure and, uh, I don't know, stuff like that. Uh, and just kind of gave up after a little while. Uh, it was, you know, neat art style and everything. It was just, I don't know, I didn't really care for the controls or the, uh, I don't know, it was kind of a very linear, like, You've got to go talk to people and then do the correct thing in the correct spot. Uh, progress. Uh, which I didn't really like. Uh, what's, what's this? Prevent mute and poison attacks. Uh, B-tub ring. Yeah, I I'm gonna go save because that took quite a while. Uh, then I played uh, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, I did play one of the New Super Mario Bros. like I don't know multiplayer way back on the uh, uh, the Wii. Uh, but I uh, haven't really played them since. 
Uh, they are definitely more fun, like multiplayer. I, uh, you know, if you've got someone to play it with, uh, I definitely recommend that rather than solo. But they are still uh, pretty fun to play, anyways. Uh, I didn't end up going through like all of it again as Luigi or anything. I just beat it uh, normal and then played through the Luigi mode a little bit. Uh, it was pretty easy. I think I had like, I don't know, I got 99 lives on I think Peach and then I switched to someone else and got 99 lives on them and, and switched again and uh, you know, managed to get like 30 lives or something before the game ended so it's not really that difficult but uh, it was fun anyways. Uh, and there's tons of levels and stuff so if you were someone who wanted to uh, Know, do everything or whatever. Uh, it'll keep you busy for quite a while. Although I do typically prefer the like 3D Mario uh, platformers rather than the side scrolling, but uh, yeah, it was good anyways. Uh, yeah, the uh, physical attacks just not working on this guy. coins. Okay, that must be the max then. Yeah, so after that it was just, uh, the only other one was uh, G-Mode Archives. Uh, each Volley Girl, she's a Fufu. Uh, which I did the uh, little video on. It was, you know, an okay uh, beach volleyball game. Kind of really simplistic and uh, not a lot of depth in it, but you know, cheap and kind of fun. played through this year, uh, either beat or played a bunch. Uh, yeah, lots of games this year due to, you know, Corona and everything, uh, being kind of stuck inside a lot, and, uh, laid off for a while and all that, so. Uh, these guys are a pain. Always healing and stuff. It's a lot more this year than previous years.
guys first, because I don't know what they're gonna do. You could have those annoying, like, one-hit kill things, like those big, uh, star rock enemies or whatever. Something is there, uh, it looks like. Oh, okay, that's just a door peeking through. Okay. I guess. Thank you. 
Okay, they must have like 120 HP. Or 115 maybe. Okay, a couple levels. Poisons, foes. I was hoping he'd learn like fire breath. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Bowser ever dying. He doesn't seem to really take damage from anything. No peach is dying constantly. Yeah, I don't know. I may switch Peach out for Malo again. Uh, she can heal everyone, but like she takes so much damage, she can't really do anything else. So it's just her dying constantly. Oh no, don't do this. Another Bowser fight him.
Oh, you really need the uh, mushrooms for this fight. I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Cause it's not like Mario can heal himself otherwise. Unless once Mario like starts losing, Peach and Bowser jump in and uh, they get him. I wouldn't matter either way, I'm already the max, so... Alright, we got uh, five stars now. Two more. I'm guessing hopefully everyone's gonna be back to normal now. Oh, they're still weird and gray or whatever. Okay. I guess I forgot to say okay. Yet, I'm going to switch Peach out of the party because she's not really carrying her weight. Uh, Mallow. So I guess that's probably it for today. Uh, just tomorrow I'll uh, do that star. And I don't know if I maybe I'll be able to beat it tomorrow. Maybe like tomorrow or the next day, I guess. Uh, Alright, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs>